Hello everyone. It's been a while since I did kind of a homestead video, if you will. We live on one acre out in the country and we grow a lot of our own food. You don't need a ton of land to do it if you can manage it and squeeze it all in, which we do. So on this acre, not only do we grow all of the chicken that we use in a year, and probably could grow duck if we if we decide to eat any ducks but we also grow food we grow um food and have fruit so let me show you around and welcome to the jungle my garden has exploded this week i mean exploded um we have gotten a ton of rain finally it's been so dry and we have probably gotten almost two inches of rain here this week and it's definitely showing up in the weeds. I had this all weeded. I had this all weeded at the beginning of the week, I think, but it has just blown up. But I'll take it because with that means my garden is growing really well too. So if you're wondering what all is growing in here, I have cucumbers, snap peas, beets, carrots. I have green beans all over down along the side. I have them all mixed in here. I have herbs and flowers along the outside, um, raspberries, blackberries in the back, and then of course I have onions. These are the onions that we'll use all year. I, I store them and they get me through every year until about February, March, maybe April. Um, green beans, again, we grow and freeze our frozen vegetables that we use all year, the be between the beets and the carrots and the green beans and the broccoli. That's what we eat. Oh, and the greens. I have some cabbage in here and I have more cabbage. And again, this is my second planting of greens, which has got some grass in there. I just need to come out and weed. It's gotten away from me here these, this last week. Some Brussels sprouts, those are new to me. My broccoli patch. Here is zucchini. I love to put that on the grill. That's all I do with it is I grill it, eat it while it's in season. These are my sweet potatoes that I grew from my very own sweet potato slips. Happy about this or that this year. My gigantically overgrown asparagus patch. That's all done for the year. Here's my tomatoes. I have more greens and Swiss chard. These are my planting from spring and it's starting to, to go to seed so it's time to get a lot of this out and start again. Here's my horseradish patch. Strawberries, and of course strawberries are done at this point. Back here is my mulch, and these are some pumpkins and squash. That's ginger in the corner. And along the back here, I don't know if you can see those down, down the jungle, all along the back are soup beans that I grow. I grow a whole lot of different kinds of cool soup beans. I don't do anything with them except a fun experiment, um, counting activity with some kids, but we love it. One thing I don't talk a lot about is I planted blueberry bushes a couple of years ago and I'm finally starting to get some. I have at this point, I think 11 blueberry bushes. Starting to see a little bit of fruit from that labor. This is a volunteer pumpkin or something. And along this edge I have um, a weed and then a couple Roma tomatoes. Mint in pots because if you know anything about mint, it'll take over your life, as will horseradish. Don't just plant it like I did in your garden. These are my green peppers. They're finally starting to take off. I even have one on there, which is exciting. And over here, I have garlic in those beds and I have regular peas and a couple volunteer tomatoes along the outside of my fence. It didn't do that great this year. And then right here, it's just, it's just overgrown greens that I got a ton off and put in the freezer and the rest of this will go to the chickens that's overgrown. I'll give this to them and we'll start again. These. You see overgrown turnips and kale. Chickens love this stuff. They love the turnips to peck at too. So these have just grown big turnips and we'll go to the chickens. 
And it's kind of fun. You don't notice things when you live it all the time. But when we first moved here, and I suppose this is our 12th or 13th year here, I had this dream of an orchard. So I just planted fruit trees every year or two a year or three a year. <laughs> so this is my latest gala apples and two pear trees. If you've got pears, I'm wondering if your pears are loaded like my pears are. These need to be thinned out a little bit. I should have actually thinned them earlier, but I didn't, I didn't get there yet. Maybe I will still. Um, up front, I have two sweet cherry trees and due to the weather or something, it, it just didn't happen this year. That's how it goes with fruit sometimes. All right, so this front row is another um, row of blueberry bushes. They're still very young. Again, the vision is that they will grow up there and I'll have lots of blueberries. This is my old faithful peach tree that actually was almost dead and um, has really come back somehow. So it's looking great. It has good looking peaches on it this year, quite a few. Glad, looking forward to that. Here's another pear tree. These pears are delicious. They just take a really long time to ripen. They're a little tricky, but wow, are they good when they do. And it is loaded. Peach tree, honey crisp tree. Got a few apples on it this year. These never do well. I always threaten to throw this or to burn that thing down. And this is a Jonathan apple tree and it has some nice looking trees or apples on it too. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that this inspires some of you to do what you can with what you have. Even if you live in town with just a smaller yard, you can probably grow something. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you the next time.